Alright, so today I'm playing a game called Marble Trap. Uh, no idea what this is, but we're going to figure that out pretty quick, I'm guessing. Okay, I can use WASD keys. I am a little pixely marble dude. Oh, with some nifty speed. Okay, so most games that I've played that have this diagonal layout, generally speaking, they're agonizing purely because W will go left, S would go right, so on and so forth. But this one, the directional keys are normal. It's just a diagonal perspective, which is pretty nifty. It makes the control a whole lot easier, which I do appreciate. Now, the main issue that I think we're going to have is me being silly and doing dumb, dumb stuff, but that's fine. Okay, they've got cannons. That's not safe. I'm telling HR about this. Okay, we kind of have to wait for the cannons a little bit. Now, since there are cannons, that means that there might eventually be some form of gadling turret things that'll just be painful to kind of dodge. So, that one just shot, so we're fine. Any more cannons? No, it's just a bit of a stretch to get to the finish. Good stuff. Another good thing on this is, since I haven't played it before, every time I get will be my new personal best. And best is a successful word. So that means that we be doing successful things. That's how that works, I've decided. For so long as we finish, technically speaking, we're awesome and good. Okay. We can schmoove and groove all we want. So long as we get to our destination in the end. Like that. Good stuff. That was quite a long level. I think that's where I'm going to have most of the, uh, or most of my difficulties. The longer the level is, kind of the harder it's going to be. Purely because if you fall off, you're kind of poopied. There we go. That wasn't too bad. 20 seconds on the dot. Nice. Okay, good thing I slowed down. This has a combination of all the obstacles we've experienced so far. No. My first death. On level 6. Known as the evil one. Okay, I'm, I'm rushing now. Let's slow down. It might be timed, but that doesn't matter. So long as we're super cool gamers, we got this. We don't need to worry about no clock. What? That one just shot. I thought it was safe to go past the middle one. Okay. Okay, so some cannons shoot faster than others. Which makes this a whole lot more difficult. Okay, we got through there by just recklessly moving. That's what I was trying to avoid doing. But that doesn't matter. Okay, one of these, they don't matter too much, they're kind of slow. Okay, then we got a wobbly path. Ooh, we got wobbles. Okay, 30 seconds, that's not too bad. I don't think. I don't know, I haven't seen anyone else play this, so... You know, technically the time I'm seeing is the best time anyone's got. As far as I'm aware. Which I think I would like to keep it that way. <laughs> this isn't a bad game by any means, it's entertaining, it's fun, the obstacles are cleverly thought out, they're challenging. The movement on the thinner paths makes it difficult as well, which is a handy feature to have. Good controls, but difficult environments, if that makes sense. Anyway, so that's all good. But yeah, it's just the combination of all of those little things makes this quite an interesting game. I, I ran into that one, that's on me. I don't mind the death sound though, it's a little kind of sparkly sound. It's strange, it's not bad, you know. 
It's one of them sounds, one of those, those nifty dudes. Okay, back to here. We can just move across there. This is the part where we died. Okay, I almost died again because rushing. And there we go. 31 seconds. Not bad. Okay, level 9. I guess we'll get to level oh no, 10, 15. Depends on how many levels there are, I didn't check. I thought I could speedy boy through there. I probably could, but you'd need to time it just right. Which is probably asking a bit much. Okay, now uh, there are more cannons. Cannons are probably the hardest obstacle. I keep running into them. I'm doing silly business. That's fine. At least the clock resets every time you die and it's not how long you've been on a level 4. That's how long your current run is. Whee! Oh wait, there's more cannons there. I was kind of waiting in front of them than I noticed. That would have been unfortunate to say the least. Okay, I almost died there because I didn't wait long enough to see the cannons patterns, but that's fine. We're good. We're on level 10 already. That's some speedy stuff. That was clean that first little bit. Okay, don't know how I'm still alive with all of these shenanigans. Okay. Let's try to go around with the X. Okay, let's see if we can get as clean of a run through here now. Probably not, but you know. We'll do our best. Okay, maybe we should be a bit more patient there. If I go fast enough, they can't hit me. That is the logic we will implement. Okay, we finished 17 seconds on level 10. That's not too bad. Now, what are these things? Oh. Are they following me? Oh, no. Okay, so now you kind of have to be a bit quicker with your uh, approach and stuff. Less time granted to wait for cannons and whatnot. Okay, these are quicker than I would like. I hope they're not a permanent feature. Okay, 18 seconds. Not too bad. Doesn't look like they're a permanent feature, fortunately. I don't know, just getting chased in a game where you're trying to... where patience is also an important factor. Oh no, they are here. Uh, it, it makes it unnecessarily difficult, some may say. So about the five second mark they spawn in. Or drop in, rather. Let's just flog it through there, and straight to here. Good stuff. Okay, so there's 24 levels. Should have been paying attention to the top. I died immediately. That's okay, we can go to the right. right. Dodging that and that. And schmoving through here. Nope. Okay, that was tragic. Which is unfortunate to say the least. Okay, we've got to be cautious-ish through this bit. Okay, the more cannons there are, the harder it is to dodge them. That's just the be-all, end-all kind of thing. Come on, there we go. We're moving at some hefty pace. Okay, I ran into a big blocky thing. Come on, there we go. Thank you, X. Good stuff. I'm gonna wait for that guy. 
Our pace isn't too bad, I don't think. But that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the razor blades chasing me. Because, I mean, you would have to be pretty strange to not be alarmed by a army, a swarm of spinning blades of death just casually chasing you. I mean, if it was more of a leisurely kind of follow, it would be fine, I think. But it's a chase, like a, a full-on, they-want-me-dead chase. And I'm not a fan of that, quite frankly. They're, they're awfully nasty. Don't know how I got through there without dying. Okay, and we've made it. These levels are getting really long and complicated, and I don't know how I feel about that, especially with the spinning blades of death and all, all that sort of stuff. It's forcing you to speed up, which speed is the death of me most of the time. Don't know how we've gotten this far without falling off with my recklessness. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. All is alright. I haven't done anything too reckless yet. Okay, this is the last level we'll need to finish then. Level 15. I think we'll end it off here. And there are spinning blades of death because why not? That's what they're called, by the way. I'm not like this. This isn't like an insult to them. It's their birth name. Spinning blades of death. In case you didn't know, that's a thing. I've decided. Oh no. Damn. What a wet demise. Okay, let's swivel. No. I, I can't go too far that way, or I'll just fall off. Okay, I'm all right so far. Come on, that was close. Drats. Okay, these spikes are really uh, causing the, uh, the just the pressure in the atmosphere to build. It's getting a tad hectic. How have I survived for so long? I do not know. Come on, quick. Shoot. Cannon, please. Thank you. It's not every day I ask cannons to shoot me. Come on, gotta go around, gotta go over here. Oh great, more slow bits. Okay, and here we go. The end. 39 seconds. Not too shabby, I don't think. Anyway, uh, is there a menu? There's a settings. Uh, back to level select, I think, would be our best bet. Cool. So, what was that? That was Marble Trap, I believe. And let's see if there's a menu we can go back to. That'll be easy just to double check. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, yeah, if you liked it, like it. If you have any suggestions for the games I should play, leave those in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm a skedaddle. See ya.